Okay, so like I said previously, we got Influx installed now. Um, you know, I've recapped the other videos. I'll recap again real quick. Video one, prerequisites, Plex, basic configuration. Video two, Tatuli, basic configuration. Video three, Influx, basic configuration, but we didn't start Influx because we need Collect D to be present first. So let's do an install of Collect D. Pretty straightforward. It's a standard Ubuntu repository, so we don't need to include anything special. We'll just go ahead and say install. And I'm going to, for the sake of interest here, let's see how fast this goes. If this goes pretty quick, I'll just leave it on. If this takes its sweet time, then we will pause this video and come back to it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pause it. And we're back. So we've got Collect D fully installed. So let's hop back on the folder for a minute here. And if we do, let's just do this. Let's make it easy. Boom. Do we have Collect D? We do. So let's go into Collect D's folder. And what are we presented with? All right, we have a collectd.conf that we need to modify before we do anything all right so in here we want to turn on the baster and we want to turn on the plug stir and there's the type db that we mentioned earlier in the previous one so here we're just going to take this we do not need that extra line we're going to comment that out so that enables it now the next thing we need to do is we need to find you can see all these plugins here i have not tinkered with them um feel free to I don't know what they'll do so hey have fun uh, we need to turn on network so network is right there Boop, turn that on then we need to go down and find the network plugin which uh, I just might have almost passed no nope, not yet there is net link network okay so here we want this to turn that on we need this to specify where we're going and what port because uh, this telegraph server lives on the local host, we can use the loopback address and specify our port that we configured in the previous step. And it should just be a matter of hitting that, and that turns on the plugin. Bail out of here. Now, it does need a database. So, what we need to do is we need to start influx. And I have a feeling actually, you know what? Let's, I'm gonna bypass something here. I have a feeling that Influx is gonna yell at me because Collect DB isn't fully up. But let's see, user share Collect D. Yeah, exactly. Because the service isn't running, the types DB doesn't exist yet. So this goes into what I was saying in the previous video about the Influx stuff. Um, so I'm going to really quickly kill this. I'm going to turn off the collect these stuff because I don't want this accidentally screwing with my config. So let's just turn all those off. Now I should be able to do a CTL start influx DB. And if I do a status, if I typed correctly, that would help. It's up and running, which is exactly what I want. Now, do a system, let's see, pseudo first, system CTL, start, collect D, and we want to enable collect D so it starts on its own. Okay, and if I do a system CTL status, collect D, it's running. Okay, so now we need to go back to influx and fix that other thing we just turned off so we go back down to collect D turn that stuff back on and if we do system CTL restart that'll restart it and if we do a status on it we should have it's running perfect and just out of curiosity 
collect D is also running. So we should be good to go at this point. Uh, we should have collect D up and running and influx is up and running. And the next step is to do telegraph. Um, actually, I stand correct. The next step is actually going to influx and we need to create database collect D. This way it's got somewhere to put the data it's collecting. And just for safety's sake, let's restart system CTL, restart collect D. And make sure it's running, good. And out of curiosity, let's just clear that out. Clear, there we go. All right, so now we're good. And we'll come back in the next video and do telegraph.